limited time here for 10 minutes to teach you about scatter plots. You can pause the video at any time if you want to get some information uh, copied down. Um, this way you can play along with me with your graphing calculator or just listen to my recommendation and my explanation of the different questions. This will take you through an explanation of least squares regression line, talking about correlation, R squared as well, and also discussing the slope and the residuals. So without further ado, here's the lesson. We're starting off with some information from the textbook that is showing the um, club head speed of a golf club with how far the golf ball actually goes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different um, measurements and their corresponding distances with the golf club or with the golf ball. First step up is to find the least squares regression line, the LSRL, also called the line of best fit. And to do that, the quickest way is to use the graphing calculator. And you can see that I've already typed in the data. And under list one and list two, um, what's, what's next is to use the calculator to generate the line of best fit. And you do that by pressing on this calculator the um, stat button and sliding to the calculate menu. And you're going to choose, you could choose uh, choice four, the linear regression using list one and list two. it'll generate that uh, equation. Along with the equation, I also get the R squared, which is the coefficient of determination. And I also get the correlation coefficient as being 0.93. All right, now, what, since we've got our line of best fit information, we can actually write that all down on, on the form. Is that the predicted y, the predicted distance, is equal to a slope of 3.16 six, times x plus the y-intercept, which is at negative 55.797. That's pretty decent information. You can also improve your score and improve your communication by actually writing it out as in words. We've got the predicted distance is equal to 3.166 times the miles per hour of the golf club minus 55.8. Okay, in terms of describing the correlation coefficient that was given on the screen, and it said that the R was 0.939, approximately. It's really not enough. When it says to give the correlation coefficient, even though that seems like the correct answer is just to just give um, just the number value, on the exam they want to see more communication, more details, and a nice way to remember that is I've come up with this technique called the four S's, or this way to remember it, the four S's of correlation. And the four S's are the sign, the shape, the strength, and the story. If you give those, you give a nice complete uh, answer for the exam and good things will happen. So the sign here, we've got a positive correlation. The shape, well to see the shape we're going to have to actually take a look at the scatter plot. In terms of the strength, the strength we can say the strength is is strong. We've got a R value that's close to one. If it's close to one or close to negative one. You can consider that to be a strong correlation. In order to know the shape and the story, though, we're going to have to take a look at the graph. So back to the graph and calculator. And if you hit second y equals, it'll bring you to the menu to type that all in. So second y equals, turn plot one on, make it a scatter plot, and we're going to use list one and list two. I'm pressing second one to get that and second two to get that to appear. Then zoom nine is the best choice to actually show a scat any statistical graph. 
So from this scatter plot, what we can see is we can see that there's a generally an upward trend. The x value is how, how fast the club is going. The y value is how far the golf ball went. So our story here would be, in general, as the, dis as the miles per hour increase, in general, the distances increase as well. And also by looking at this, we can get golf balls here. We, see, we can see that there is a rough, a rough linear pattern here. There's no sort of pattern or curve. We're not seeing it dip down and come back up again and curl back up. We're not seeing it rise up and then level off. We're seeing a generally a pretty decent uh, linear shape. So we can record that. The shape is roughly linear, roughly a straight line. And the story, as, as the miles per hour increase, the distances generally increase. All right, moving on to the next part, the correlation or the coefficient of determination. Coefficient of determination is the R squared. And that was given to us, R squared. To go back to the home screen, it said the R squared was 0.88. which translates to saying how successful the scatter plot was or how successful the line of best fit was in terms of explaining the, da the data. And you can almost think of this as a grade, an 88%, which is pretty darn good. 88% of an official way to actually say it on the exam um, is to say that 88% of the variation in the Y value, in the distance, is explained by the least squares regression line and the speed of the golf ball.